Hello, welcome to my channel, Qubit Education Services. In this video, we are going to solve question number 43 of the ICER Aptitude Test 2021 mock paper 1. This question is based on coordinate geometry. 43. Let C be the circle that touches the x axis and whose center coincides with the circumcenter of the triangle defined by 4 into mod x plus 3y equal to 12, y greater than or equal to 0. That means our triangle will lie above the x-axis. How many points with both coordinates integers are there in the interior of C? 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, because uh, it is a circle, the circle that we are looking for, we, we should know what its center is or where, where its center is and what its radius is. Okay, so in the first part, we will determine the, lo the location of the vertices of the triangle. Then we will go to the center, then the radius and then we will get then we'll immediately get how many such points are there okay and at last we will verify our result graphically okay that is what we usually do whenever it is possible to okay yes so we go to the equations which give us or inequalities which give us the sides 4 into mod x plus 3y equal to 12 y greater than or equal to 0 okay so y greater than or equal to 0 means one of the edges of the triangle is x-axis y equal to 0 right and mod x so we can now have two lines 4x plus 3y equal to 12 or 4 into minus x plus 3y equal to 12 okay of course the second line okay where mod x is equal to negative x this will be in the second quadrant for as far as our, uh, our triangle is concerned and 4x plus 3y equal to 12 will be the side of the triangle in the first quarter okay so this is the figure the red sides represent the 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 equation involving mod okay together and uh, see note that this is also representing a pair of lines okay and secondly yeah secondly we have this y greater than or equal to zero that is the region above the x-axis okay now where do these lines intersect each other negative 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 clearly you can get them by these two and then uh, these two lines will intersect at the point 0 comma 4 okay now due to symmetry this is an isosceles triangle yes this is an isosceles triangle with the red sides being the equal sides okay so we can very easily guess that its circumcenter will be somewhere on the y-axis okay so its x coordinate will automatically become zero now let us determine its y coordinate so suppose h comma k is the circumcenter of the triangle and h will clearly be equal to zero due to symmetry now use the fact that the circumcenter of any triangle is that point from which if a circle is drawn whose radius is equal to the circum radius it will pass through all three points simultaneously or all three vertices okay I and mean, you can determine it by sign rule but that will be too complicated okay the radius so we'll just take the use of we'll take the help of distance formula okay uh, we'll try to find the distance between our uh, circum center and one of the vertices 3 comma 0 that is the left hand side and the other vertex is clearly or obviously on the line uh, on the y-axis 0 comma 4 okay so we have squared them so that things get simpler okay so 0 minus 3 is 9 well squared is 9 k squared and on the right hand side we have k squared minus 8k plus 16 k squared k squared gets cancelled negative 8k will be negative 7 or k will be equal to 7 by 8 okay so this has now given us the y coordinate of the circum center we did not need the circum radius okay fine i mean now of course we will will need it now let's determine the circum radius okay because the circle touches the x-axis what does it mean it means that the radius of the circle has to be equal to absolute value of the y coordinate of the center okay because here y coordinate is positive the radius is equal to 7 by 8 itself all right therefore we can now say that okay because the circle's center lies on y-axis the minimum value of x which any point can have on the circle is negative 7 by 8 and the maximum value of the x coordinate which any point on the circle can have is 7 by 8 isn't it well and y min is 0 because the circle is going to touch the x axis at the origin and what is y max 2 times the radius okay now you see now we note that there is only going to be one point in the entire interior of the circle and that point is going to be 0 comma 1 all right 0 comma 1 is the only point in the interior with integral coefficients due to these restrictions 
okay because there is only one integer between negative 7 by 8 and positive 7 by 8 which is 0 okay if at all there are points all of them should have x coordinates 1 uh, sorry not 1 0 okay now how many integers are there between uh, 0 and 14 by 8 see we, we have been asked to determine points in the interior okay so we are not interested in this point or, or origin although origin lies on that particular circle okay now what is the maximum value 14 by 8 okay so clearly 16 by 8 is ruled out so we can we are going to consider only those points whose y coordinates are equal to 1 so taking the intersection of these two sets we get only one such point that is 0 comma 1 okay now let us verify our result graphically yes so these two uh, sides of the triangle these are given by the equation 3 into mod x plus 4y equal to 12 okay the 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 green circle that you can see okay this one this is the circum circle of the triangle okay yes and its center can be very easily located now it is here okay 0 comma 7 by 8 and as you can see this particular center is slightly below the point 0 comma 1 okay because it is 7 by 8 okay so it's almost equal to 1 but a bit less than 1 all right and and this blue circle is the is the one that we want so that is the circle c okay and there is only one point which is 0 comma 1 in the interior okay see origin is there on the circle but we don't want any point on the circle we strictly want points in the interior okay so in the interior there is only one point with integer coefficients so the answer is 1 okay let's go back to the options now Okay, interior of C, so only one point and that is B. C had the question been on C and interior of C, then the answer could have been different. Okay, in that case, the answer would have been option C. Okay, so now we have completed question 43. I thank you all for watching and in the next video, we will solve question number 44.